Hello food lovers, welcome back to my kitchen. As we step into this new year, I want to wish you all a happy new year. Today we will be diving into the world of flavors and colors with this Nigerian Obono soup, draw soup. This soup is actually easy to prepare with these very few ingredients. So guys, sit back, wear your apron and let's get started. To start with, I have some beef meat here, tozo meat, which I'm going to steam with some cow head. I will be steaming this protein until it's soft and here I will be adding some onion. and some salt to taste dry pepper some ginger and thyme now I'm going to give it a mix Stir it very well. I'm going to allow this meat to soften, then I'll remove the beef and leave the cow meat to cook until it's soft. If you have a pressure cooker, you can use the pressure cooker to soften your cow head. Now I'm going to add some little water and allow this to cook until the meat is soft and tender. And here we have our main ingredients, that is Ogbono. Mm -mm -mm. So this Ogbono now, I'm going to blend this Ogbono like this. And I'm going to add some little palm oil to this. Not too much palm oil, but the one that suits your, the way you like it. Yes. After that, I'm now going to stir this together until it becomes a smooth paste. I really love obono soup, oh, seriously. Obono soup, okra soup, anything that draws, mm -mm -mm. I love it. <laughs> Guys, I hope you love obono soup, Sha. I know you do. That's why you're here to know how to cook obono soup. So let's keep it going. So after putting all this together, I'm now going to put it in the microwave for just a minute. And this is what it looks like. I put it in the microwave for just a minute and this is okay. I'm now going to leave it until I need it. Now that the goat head is soft and tender, I'm go now going to add the beef back into the pot. Now I'll be adding my dry fish. This is um, some dry fish with bonga fish mixed together that has been deboned. I'm adding some dry crayfish. This is with some dry prawns to it. Some fresh abonaro pepper. Red and yellow abonaro pepper that has been blended together. I'm now going to add some little water to make up our soup. We're gonna give it a very good turn. Mm -mm -mm. Our soup is coming together. <laughs> so I'm now going to leave this to simmer for like 10 minutes. It's been 10 minutes now and I will be adding bitter leaf to this obono soup. Yes, that's what I'll be using bitter leaf. I'll be adding two handful of bitter leaf. You can use 
whichever vegetable you like, pumpkin, vegetable. You can experiment with other vegetables on this. Now I'll add my fresh prawns. And some crayfish maggi. Now we're going to add the obono and palm oil paste to the soup. And give it a very good mix. Give it a very good mix and allow that to cook this has to cook and don't cover the pot if you want this your Ogmono soup to draw. We're not going to cover the pot at all. So we're going to allow this Ogmono to cook until we know it's cooked. We will get there. So let's let this to cook. At this point that the Ogbono soup is looking like this, that means the Ogbono soup is done and ready to eat. But I'm going to add the last ingredients which is some green vegetable to give it some vibrant color and guys this obono soup can be eaten with fufu mm -mm -mm, gari pando samo any desired swallow that you want i hope this video was very very helpful to you and please just smash the like button i beg you thank you after turning the vegetable in the soup it's time to bring it down because the heat from the soup is still going to overcook the vegetable so at this point bring down the soup and serve all ingredients for this dish will be in the description box and please share this video with your friends and family and for more recipes like this please subscribe i will see you in my next video thank you so so much for your support and a happy new year